All right, today we're going to talk about the International System, SI, which stands for System International, um, units, units that are different from pounds um, and feet and inches and stuff like that, uh, units that were developed later on in time. So this is lesson 1.3, and let's talk about it. Okay, there were seven base units that were um, used to describe the system, depending on what you wanted to measure. So if you wanted to measure distance, you would measure it in meters. Mass was measured in kilograms. Uh, time measured in seconds. Electric current in amperes. Temperature in Kelvin. Intensity of light in candela or candela. And the amount of a substance is measured in moles. And those are the units um, and the symbols for each unit in that table. Uh, after those were derived, there were some other units that um, were used. So if I wanted to measure area, I would need to use square meters, volume in cubic meters, mass in grams, velocity in meters per second, and notice how it's written as meters times seconds to the negative one. That's the same thing as meters divided by seconds, or m slash s, as you're used to seeing it maybe in physics. Um, and angles are measured in radians. Okay, other derived units, uh, force is measured in newtons, pressure in pascals, energy in joules, power in watts, and frequency in hertz. Okay, so other allowed units are, are um, used by combining um, or expanding on some of the units that we already talked about. So time can be measured in hours, which is 60 minutes or 3,600 seconds. Mass can be measured in tons. Each ton is 1,000 kilograms. Um, capacity can be measured in liters, and each liter is 0 0.001 cubic meter. Area can be measured in hectares, um, which is 10,000 square meters. And angles can also be measured in degrees, which is what I think you're used to. Other allowed units. Temperature can be measured in Celsius. Um, and you can get that by taking your Kelvin and subtracting 273.15. Pressure can be measured in millibars. Each millibar is the same as 100 pascals or pascals. Distance at sea um, is measured in nautical miles, and each nautical mile is 1.852 kilometers. Speed at sea is measured in knots, and each knot is 1.852, again, kilometers per hour, written again as kilometers times h to the negative 1. It still means the same as kilometers slash h, or kilometers over hours. Energy can be measured in kilowatt hours, which is the number of kilowatts times the number of hours. That's the equivalent of 3.6 megajoules. Okay, then uh, we've seen some of these, um, but it's worth going over. There are prefixes that mean that I'm talking about small amounts of something. Uh, if I don't want to have a whole bunch of zeros after the decimal um, and then my digits showing up later on, I can use nano for nanometers, nanoseconds. Uh, that's one one billionth of a unit. So a nanosecond is one one billionth of a second. Micro is 10 to the negative 6. So a microsecond would be one one millionth of a second. Milli would be one one thousandth. Centi would be one one hundredth. You wouldn't really talk about a centi second. You might talk about a centimeter, which is one one hundredth of a meter. And deci for decimeter um, would be ten to the negative one or one tenth of a meter. Then on the flip side, we have some large prefixes, prefixes uh, that stand for large amounts of something. So a decameter would be ten meters. A hectometer would be a hundred meters. A kilometer or a kilometer would be a thousand meters. A mega, well, we wouldn't really talk about megameters, that's just too far. Um, so we might talk about uh, megabytes, which is roughly one million bytes. Um, you computer people know that it's not exactly one million bytes because um, in bytes they deal in base two, um, but it's roughly one million. And then giga would be 10 to the 9 or one billion of something. All right, so let's do a couple of examples just to see what I'm talking about. If I wanted to convert 21.45 kilograms to grams, well, I know that a kilogram is 1,000 grams, so I set that equation up, and as long as I multiply both sides by the same thing, then it's still equal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 21.45. 
so that 21.45 kilograms is equal to 21,450 grams. Then if I wanted to convert 834.55 centimeters to meters, then I know that 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. And if I multiply both sides by the same thing again, I get 834.55 centimeters equals 8.3455 meters. So those are just a couple of examples of converting using those prefixes. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.